right, we are having a fun hair tutorial today. Welcome to my channel. If you're new here, hit that subscribe button. Now let's get started. This new towel is from the brand Kitsch. It's so super soft and I love it. Has this awesome little pretty button here, rose gold, all about those details. So I'm gonna comb through my hair and as I'm putting products in, I'll tell you what we're doing today. I'm using the Catwalk Root Boost and this hair style that I'm doing today is one that I wore in some recent makeup kind of 101 videos and so many of you were asking for a tutorial so I thought it would be fun to do that today. I have recently gotten my hair cut since that, those videos but I do still have a lot of blonde left and overall the shape of the haircut is still the same. I'm using the Zuvi Halo hair dryer and I'm gonna start off on the care setting and then at the end, I'll add on the air concentrator and switch to the style mode. how I got this front section so smooth. So as you saw, as I was blow drying, I was really pulling this up and blow drying it back. But now the next secret is I'm going to take this front section with my flat iron. I usually have it set on 350. And as I go back, I'm actually kind of pressing forward. Did you see that? So I pulled it down. So it kind of curled it curled it back and then I'm going to go through it one more time. Just because I didn't want it to be a really crazy curl there. And then I'm going to do one more of those over here as well. And you do want to break out your comb. Go ahead and comb that hair smooth before you put it in the flat iron. And then here on the side, I want this to come down. I know this is looking a little crazy, hang with me here. And then I just like to take my flat iron through the top because we have that, that root boost in there. It adds a little bit of hold. So when you go through with the flat iron, it kind of helps give a little texture. Right, and then this right here, just because I didn't get this quite close enough to the roof. There we go. I'm gonna take some Enjoy Dry Wax. And as always, you can check the description box below. I always list and link everything I'm using today. So I'm gonna use a little bit of that, work it through my hands. And now I'm going to set and kind of mess up this top. I know some of you are like, why do you mess up your hair? I just like a messy look. So <laughs> that's just me. You can keep your hair nice and smooth if you want, but I like to go through and kind of crunch it a little bit. And I like the look of kind of more of a distinct part here 
on the side. You don't have to do that, but I personally like that. And then on this side, I'll show you that in a moment, but kind of similar. I kind of like to bring everything up to the top, right? And then I just have like a little flyaway here. I'm gonna use a tiny little touch of wax and I'm just going to go through this front section here. Make sure everything's going the right way. Rat way. Apparently I just <laughs> switched over to the south. <laughs> All right. And now let's lock everything in place. I'm using my current favorite hairspray combination since Aussie Instant Freeze did what they did. All right. This is the bed head, hard head, mega hold, extreme hold hairspray. So I'm going to use this first. And as I go through, I just, again, like to break up the hair a little bit, make it look a little more textury. And then I'll finish up with just kind of a finishing touch of the Bedhead Masterpiece. This is the Extra Strong Hold. What I love about this is it adds a little bit of shine. And when I do this, my hair, I can be in a windstorm. <laughs> My hair will not budge. It will stay styled. The texture stays there. All right, I've got my jacket on, my earrings on. I'm ready to go. Here's our finished look. And that's it. And I've got to rush out the door to go to lunch. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Be sure you give it a thumbs up if you did. And I'll see you next time.